Hey guys and welcome to the first video this year, but before we actually start the video itself I wanted to say a huge thanks to everybody who watched these videos, who clicked the like buttons, who subscribed to the channel, posted the comments, posted their feedback, what they do like or maybe what they don't like or want to see a different. I really try to listen to you. Uh, just because of you in the last year when I actually started this channel we managed to achieve already 90 subscribers at this moment when I am making this video which is I don't know, for me it's huge. I'm super excited about these numbers. I didn't expect that we might get that many in that short period of the time. I actually didn't expect that we might have so many people that are willing to watch uh, Zabbix related videos online, but there we go. And uh, just two cents uh, about the future. Uh, this year I plan to make more videos, of course. I will still be making videos about this Abex, how you can configure all of the great stuff, step-by-step uh, -step tutorials to make your life easier, hopefully. But additionally, I, I hope that I will make some videos about, let's say, the monitoring idea itself, and it might not be related as exactly to the Zabbix. If you're using some some other monitoring tools. It might be still quite interesting to talk about some important stuff like what should you monitor, what you need to monitor, how should you figure the thresholds, uh, how could you escalate the problems or automate uh, the resolution of those, uh, perhaps about some new stuff uh, of the technology and some new things that should be monitored and possible benefits that we could get out of it. So there's really a lot of information to cover and uh, hopefully this year we'll have a lot of videos and a lot of good stuff together. But to continue this one, as you already see on the screen today I want to talk about uh, Grafana. And if you work with Zabbix you should already know what Grafana is. It is a free open source, you don't need to pay any money as we already used to. Uh, it is just a data visualization tool on the first place. So it is third-party tool which we will integrate together with our Zabbix instance to visualize already collected data. What's the benefit of the Grafana? Why sometimes and pretty often it is reasonable to use it? That's the ease and the pretty graphs that you can get inside here. So there are examples like just Google Grafana and you see all of these, well, that's the true, we are not able to get these things in the Zabbix frontend currently. The Zabbix team is doing their best to improve all of the data visualization and uh, I know I think we are on the correct way. Uh, like in the 4.0 the new graph widget is pretty cool, I really like it, but still I must say that this does look better and uh, yeah, the functionality is also better in the Grafana. So that's why I'm still creating a video how to use it with the Zabbix. Uh, we have a Grafana.com opened and uh, we will use a couple from here, a couple of stuff to actually install it. From my previous versions I have again a CentOS 7 virtual machine, a Zabbix installed here. It is... Uh, Zabbix 4.0.2, uh, MariaDB database, and yeah, Apache, I have my front end right here, uh, just one single host I believe, Zabbix server, it is being monitored locally by the agent. So now let's install Grafana, and it's, it's really simple, no worries, it will take like, uh, I don't know, less than five minutes probably. Uh, so what do we need to do? Let's find, uh, let's click, get Grafana, here, clicking, then there are two options, we can run it on our machine and we will do that because it's 100% open source, we don't need to pay any money, uh, we keep all the data so it's absolutely secure for us. Uh, option number two would be get a Grafana as a service provided by Grafana company. 
uh, you decide. This video will be about how to install and configure it on your premises. So click download button. Then, since I have a CentOS 7, I am choosing the Linux. Uh, then, 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 installation Ubuntu No, Red Hat and CentOS, installation guide. There we go. And uh, scroll down, installing via the YUM repository. So this is what we need. And basically we need to copy paste this, just as it is, copy. Then go to our CLI, then use v i etsy yum repos d grafana dot repo. I am basically creating a new file. I don't have this file right now. Uh, I for insert and copy paste uh, the thing that I copy it from here. That's it. Then escape, save the file. That's it, we added a repo of the Grafana. Now let's yum install Grafana. Let's search for it. I'm not sure if we did everything successfully, so yum search Grafana. And in the end, we should have a Grafana server available for the installation. Why is it taking so many? There we go. Uh, first of all, we need to get to obtain the key from our newly created repo. So it uh, doesn't matter will you write a yum search Grafana or yum install Grafana, you will have the same same output. And yes, you need to click yes. Retrieving the key from Grafana repo. Uh, the virtual machine is very slow. There we go. We have a Grafana package available. So yum install Grafana and dash yes to automatically confirm everything. It will be pretty quick, hopefully. 50 percent, 70, 80, 90, 100. There we go. Then, come on, a little bit more. Done. So after we install the package of the Grafana server, right, let's just uh, systemctl start Grafana dot dash server. That's it. Grafana is running right now with the default settings and this will be almost enough for our video. So let's go back to the browser. Grafana, just like the Zabbix frontend, is just a web page, web-based, running on our web engine here locally, which is Apache. So to access it, we will have to open the page. Uh, IP of my virtual machine and the default port of the Grafana is 3000 so specify the port click enter and we are able to log in the default username is admin and the password is exactly the same admin lowercase click OK then we will have to, to change the password save Done, we're inside a Grafana. Then we need to add a data source. And these are all the default data sources from where you are able to pull in the data and visualize it inside the Grafana graphs. But we don't have Zabbix here. We do have a MySQL, which would work, but there is already created a plugin, a data source plugin for the Zabbix exactly to work through the Zabbix API. And to find it, we need to Google for Zabbix Grafana. And this one, that's the official page of the Grafana again, the Zabbix by Alexander Sopnin. And we need to go to the installation tab and copy paste this Grafana CLI plugins install and our Zabbix plugin. Grafana CLI is already available in your virtual machine since you already installed the Grafana server. So just copy paste this, click enter. Will take again just a couple of the seconds. Done, installed successfully. And now we need to restart Grafana. Two changes actually 
take the effect. So systemctl restart grafana dash server. Done. Let's go back to our grafana frontend. Refresh the page. Uh, we need to go to the plugins here, then the plugins, and we will find a Zabbix in the bottom. This is our newly installed data source. Click on it and click enable. There we go. The plugin is enabled. Then let's go again to our home dashboard here. Click again on the add data source. Choose our Zabbix. We didn't have this previously here. Then what do we need to change here? Almost nothing. Uh, by default, if you don't use HTTPS, uh, what do we need? A uh, URL, and this will be a URL to API underscore JSONRPC.php. So in my case, it will be uh, it's a localhost 001. Then it is a slash Zabbix, as usually uh, by default, and API underscore JSONRPC.php. So basically this will be the part of your existing Zabbix frontend and just add API jsonrpc.php in the end. Access default, everything default stays as it is. Zabbix API details, just specify the username and a password. Uh, admin Zabbix, I have a default one. Everything else stays as it is and try to save and test. Why is it doesn't appear? Zabbix admin, or wait, what's, what's the default login? It's admin and lowercase Zabbix. So admin Zabbix URL 127 HTTP 127.001 Zabbix API JSON RPC dot PHP. Let's try again. There we go. Data source updated. Zabbix API version 4.0.2. That's it. Let's go back. Then we can create a new dashboard. Uh, home. Then, 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 where can we do that? On the plus sign, create a new dashboard. And, well, how it works. Let's say a graph. Then you need to click here. Click on the edit. Then choose the data source. And it is Zabbix. Query mode metric. A group, it will be a host group. And you see the Grafana already suggests you the possible possible values, possible things you might select. So the Zabbix servers, a host, Zabbix server, for the example, item, let's take, uh, I don't know, outgoing traffic. There we go. Uh, general, save. Okay, then let's add something new, add new panel, uh, another graph, edit, metrics, Zabbix server, host, Zabbix server, uh, CPU system time, go back, you can move these like this, uh, let's say add a new panel, which will be a single stat, again edit, query mode, metrics, group, hosts, item, uh, agent ping. So there we go. We can resize these easily. We can use the value mapping. So one is uh, available, let's say. Zero failed why isn't working okay I'm not very good <laughs> in the Grafana itself so you'll have to no value uh, 
just remove these edit general metrics agent ping yeah let's just delete it remove yes let's try add oh i got this uh today and 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 and, and let's zoom this in so just just very small time period that we can currently display that's why that happened so again single stat edit metrics group zabbix server host zabbix server items agent ping there we go one uh, close this we can make this smaller add some additional things no like this okay this looks great like this add some new let's say single stat edit choose a group choose a host item number of processes as example again make this smaller so the possibilities are pretty huge and uh, you can download also additional stuff uh, from the official Grafana page, the plugins, uh, you can download additional panels so the visualization can also be customized, uh, customized on, the, on the Grafana side which in the end lets you create some beautiful graphs like you can see in the background right now. Uh, okay, I will, I will end this video, so that's about it, how to install a Grafana. You have a Grafana server, you can edit everything from, from the Grafana right now, like add a new users, uh, specify the permissions, some of them might be able to visualize just some specific dashboards, some of them would have a limited permission, some of them would have uh, read and write permissions. When you are specifying uh, the username for the data source, like I did here, remember that permissions from the front end also applies on the API. So in my case, this is a super admin. So super admin can see everything and he will be able to gather all the values from the Zabbix. If you will use some custom API user and assign permissions only to some specific host group, that user here in the Grafana will be able to visualize data only from that single specific host group. Okay, uh, thank you once again. Uh, see you a little bit later. Hopefully I will publish additional video this week and uh, I already promised to somebody in the comments that it will be about SNMP traps. So stay tuned, click subscribe button, post your feedback and uh, have a great year. Thank you.